swag, bitch. boys and girls welcome back uh, sorry my hair is all weird i've been brushing in making it look kind of weird i'm gonna go get a free haircut tomorrow because i got coupons um what i'm here today talking about as you might have seen as the beginning of the title the pilot dash cam now christmas time is right around the corner unfortunately for some of you it might be a dread for some of you it might be a terrific this is one of the pilot dash cams that you can buy at Walmart on Black Friday. I got this one for five bucks. Now, it's been in the package for about a year now. Well, I thought in all in all sense, it would make sense to open it up, try it out, and see how it goes. So right now I'm gonna unbox it. It's got one tab on the back here. Yes, it looks very ripped and tarnished and everything so everybody's like why'd you buy a dash camera it doesn't make sense da -da 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 -da. now you know there's security and there's profit off of even stuff that you buy that's stupid i mean i've had this thing for so long it's not even funny to like joke about it anymore. it's like a security blanket when you get into an accident if it's not your fault or if it is they have when you first open it up you'll see visit our mobile friendly dash cam support dot com for videos tutorials and support well I might be doing a tutorial on this not sure never opened it as you can see it was still sealed now let's slide it out Make sure, oop. Oh, there's all the stuff. <laughs> okay, so nothing in the box. Everything was on the back side. The camera is still in here. So it's almost like a little... That's how big it is. It fits in the palm of your hand. It feels very cheap. It doesn't feel like a GoPro that you could get. Um, let's see here. I got a link for you to charge it inside house or download your stuff in here. They have the hook and they have a hookup for you. There is a screen protector thing, which I'm going to just take that off because that doesn't really matter. Um, let's see here. It's got a little connection thing, so basically a little key it slides into a key as you can see here it has that and as you can see there it has that so we're just gonna slide it on in there if it wants to do that and if it doesn't oh well so I think it goes on this one Okay, why ain't you sliding off? So I gotta unscrew it to slide? Yeah, probably. So it looks to me that there's an unscrew thing to tighten it and loosen it. So I'm gonna untighten it just to take the ball out to slide this thing on. Because it seems like the only function duality. That I would do. <sighs> now nah, I just dropped. <laughs> not not too worried about it, but um, okay. Just make sure this goes back on the right way. Plug this back into here, and screw this down. So as you can see here, it has a suction coupable head, which I think this has a plastic film on it too. Yep, it does. Let's 
Actually, I don't think it does. No, it's just my mad freaking nation. Well, I will say this: it's very suction cuppy. Watch. Just went a little bit wet, so we're gonna suction cup this thing to my hand here. There, we'll do it to the box. If the box would even let it, suction cup itself. There you go. So it seems like it's pretty suction cuppy. Let's try to simulate what happens during a car with a truck or something. But uh, obviously, I have to tighten this thing up for it to not move. So there it is, it's not moving. And it's pretty well off and good. Alright. I'm going to try to set this thing up for video tomorrow. I will drive myself to work. 50% of the way. So then I'll start it. And then, um. So you guys can see how it works and see how it operates. Alright. So I will see you guys in a few. So, I don't know if this has audio or anything. Or maybe some good pictures on it. But, um. This is the pilot dash cam. I currently am just driving around on a normal Sunday. So, yeah. Um, so far, so good. It works nice. Uh, battery life, I don't know how long it goes. But all you can see is the pretty colors changing around the areas. I am now heading into Akko, which I will be taking back roads. Just so I can show you guys if it does do good video or if it doesn't. Um, right now it looks like it's pretty cool. So right now I'm sitting at a um, stoplight, a green light now. Woohoo! And uh, yeah. So I'm in my 2004 Dodge Dakota. I am driving currently to a friend's house, but, uh, that's all that's happened. You can see there's no traffic on the road today, that's how it's been through quarantine. I don't know how well this thing picks up audio, if it does any. Um, so yeah. Basically, as we're driving along here, I mean, it seems to be a pretty good picture, it seems to be alright. Don't really know, don't really care. <laughs> um... So, if it does have good audio, and I am talking correctly, um, it should be pretty nice. It should be pretty good of a feature, and uh, you guys should be getting some good video. And if not, you guys can see how good the quality is, if it's just worth the $15 that I spent, no, actually $5 that I spent, to buy this last Black Friday, and get one this Black Friday, probably. But uh, I reviewed this pilot dash cam because, you know, Black Friday's coming up. Everything's uh, coming different. Oh, here we go. We got a bicycle. Five points. Nah, I'm kidding. Guy yeah, looks like he's trying to get his life together. And we got a red light coming up. But uh, no, I mean, everything's pretty cool on this thing. I mean, I just had the screw on the top where it tightens the uh, thing down, just broke. So that's, that's no. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to really say about it, but, I mean, as far as I know, it's a decent halfway good camera. Um, eventually, I want to start doing mini bike projects and other kinds of projects, but... Dash cam! Hello there guys, um, I am coming to you back after these two videos. The video you saw before was me sitting still because I wanted to make sure that you guys could look and see the car sitting still. Um, currently at this moment I'm looking at the screw that, uh, that I was having trouble with in the car. What I was talking about was 
something inside here. Okay, before that drops, <laughs> sorry. Um, before, what I was doing was I was trying to tighten this up to my cord. So I thought it was something that I was doing wrong, but no. Uh, basically, what happened was I got up so far, and I guess there was some kind of sand or dirt or something inside of it. Because there's so little of threads for a plastic thing. I was trying to tighten it all the way. And I could only get so far because I just wanted a nice little snug tight. But I couldn't. But I got that a little, a little snug thing now. So, from the video quality, I had to convert it. I had to convert it from a. How do I say this? I had to convert it from a some other file that it came up as, because it's a little microchip on here. And it converted it and made the quality so much better on the computer and the software that I'm using to editing all my videos. So much better than what I've seen. Um, I was really amazed by it. With well, the quality. <laughs> Not this thing. This thing this thing has a little voice recorder on it. I will show it to you in a second. Uh, the only problems I've had with it is not that very good a quality of voice, but... In a car accident or a car crash, you don't really need that. You need visibility in sight. Because what a lot of insurance companies and police officers look for is who is in the right and who's in the wrong and who can get sued and who you can get money from. Well, I more or less, more or less don't care. I mean, I'm a kid after all, but this has some good insight of visual of the front I would suggest getting a better dash cam because this one's all right for beginning and doing little videos and stuff and doing whatever but for you can't change the date you can't change the time on this so it was kind of like what the hell um that's why it says 2019 I wish it was 2019 still man no coronavirus no any of this but yeah um so yeah I didn't want to hold you guys up too long. I know it's been a long video already. If you guys stayed through this long, um, you just click it on. Yep. It usually plays this little sound. What you're seeing here is a video of my hand. But you can see that it is very dim and very different. So. We're just going to show you here. So, there is the OK and turn off button right here under my Sorry. Under my thumb. So, it's OK to, like, record. Now, you'll see a red dot on the top screen, your battery life, which is only half. And I've only used this thing, like, seven or eight times to record stuff that people were cutting me off and all kinds of other stuff. Which will be, eventually, my road rage videos. <laughs> Won't be very good quality, but it'll be pretty fun. Um, so right now I'm recording 16 seconds in, and I can just hit OK and off. Didn't turn off the camera. So then you come over here to modes. That's camera mode. This is voice audio record, which I thought was a pretty interesting mode. You record audio in your truck, saying if a Karen's coming up on the side of your window, or if you're just in there with police. I mean, I was thinking, if you're in a police situation, you could reach up to the dash, flip that right around to yourself, and record yourself while you're sitting there, or getting shot. So it's on video. Um, then you have the video album, which you can go through, and pretty much all I have is one video so far, because I deleted everything else off the computer, off the, the microchip. Uh, you can plug it into a computer, you can take the... What it comes with is it comes with an eight, eight megabyte chip, little guy. You can plug this into your computer, or if you don't have one that doesn't take it, like, which like, I have an Apple, so you can just plug the camera, the USB small cord into the camera. I have the cord over here. I don't know why it's still connected. And then all you gotta do is plays a little sound, shuts off. So so far, this has been all right. I will try to use this more during my commute to work and everything. Um, 
hope to see you guys in my next video, and I hope you enjoyed this little review on this pilot dash cam. Hope you were interested in buying it, or if not, Walmart's loss. Have a good day. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.